Aloha. Aloha. This talk is about the ever-changing melody of Earth. Now, there will be sound. And it's been optimized for this room, the Camden Opera House. And if you want to get the best out of this talk, you should be here. And if you're not here, pump up the bass, because it's coming. <laughs> there is sound you can hear. And then there's sound you can feel. And that's infrasound. Below the threshold of our hearing, it permeates the world around us. And we are intimate with the visceral sensation of infrasound, of bass and tempo, and the effect it has on us. My daughter that hasn't seen this movie, all I need to do is do this little temple to Justin, and she knows it's played. She knows the momentum. Temple. So we are familiar with the soundtrack of the dark lords of the deep, as well as the Levithians, the Song of Wales. But there's a whole world out there that permeates us, and that all these processes, giant surf, earthquakes, tsunamis, auroras, storms, volcanoes, have one thing in common. They all produce infrasound. And uh, these are the essence of our myths, our legends, our sense of awe. And I'm a sound hunter. And I go into a deep end, the deep, dark forest of silence. And I bring back knowledge. And I'm going to show you my choice catches. Big planet, how does it vibrate? We're actually pretty intimate with how it does that. And um, we really listen to ourselves. Well, our mother's greatest gift is infrasonic. Infrasound tempo. About 120 bits per minute, but two hertz. This is pretty much a sign of life. And we carry this, you know, we, we have this coming out of the womb. Then we realize that we are not alone. The Earth, like us, is constantly stimulated from without, as well as from within. And uh, one thing about Earth is that it propagates sounds very well at very low frequency. So what I'm showing you there is an image of sound propagating from the ground to space. And there's these corridors of sound up in the stratosphere and up at the lower levels of space that pretty much catch sound and can take it to the other side of the world. Let's go down. Basic elements, earth and fire. And volcanoes, God, they have so much diversity. Um, there were some really wonderful singers out there. Some volcanoes have a beautiful voice, some not so much. But this, <laughs> this is an example of a, of a particularly harmonious voice, uh, Pele, goddess of fire, beautiful voice. And she's got a, a, a sound that is very unique. This is from sped up 200 times, so you can hear it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to hear it. And I'd like to invoke the powers of Jim, the sound mixer. Jim, could you please give us a chant? <laughs> with a lot of harmonics, very nice tonal overtones. And uh, I, I guess Bella's happy. She should. She lives in Hawaii. She made Hawaii. Uh, on the other side of the spectrum, you have the monsters, the ones that create large amounts of ash and just fill up the world. And uh, Jim, bring us down. Listen to how it goes even deeper as it progresses. And who cares? How does this apply? Anybody who flew here should care. Because planes and ash just don't mix. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And so we are, have developed and are still developing automatic warning algorithms for telling our aircraft and civil defense authorities what's going on so we can actually respond to that and maybe save some lives. Last, we're going to cool it down, and I'm at the very edge of my time. A tohoku, earthquake, and tsunami. Essentially, a giant wave goes and curses through the ocean. What few people don't know is that there was also a huge wave of sound. And uh, this is a sound I keep in its cage for about seven months because it needs space to roam. But I walked around here two days ago and I said, this, this is going to work. So I'm going to unleash the sound of Tohoku upon you. Um, you're going to hear two things. First is the seismic wave and the vibrations from the ground and some of the weird stuff that we still haven't explained. And then comes a wall of sound that originates on Earth's surfaces and it goes all the way to space. Soundmaster, release the Kraken. <laughs> And that is the sound of the whole Earth shaking. The world move in ways that we didn't even think were possible. I don't know if that blows your mind, but it blows mine. <laughs> so the walk away theme is, you know, we don't, we're still learning how the world works. We're definitely not the masters of the universe. And the world has always and is always changing. And we can see it but we can also hear it.